Why did you touch this? What's the story? Well, because I'd, I'd had enough, actually. Um, I, I listened to it all week. I think, as I put in my tweet, I think her presentation is very, very good. And I'm delighted. And I, don't, I'm, I object strongly to her playing the class card as well. This has got nothing to do with her upbringing. She met huge adversity. She met enormous challenges. She's come through it. She's captain the England women's football team. She's making a career in media extremely successfully. It's got nothing to do with any of that. This is about not accent. This isn't about regional accents. This isn't about her being a Cockney. I'm delighted, frankly, that the media put more regional. I'm a, I'm a brummy. You know, I'm, I'm delighted that they put more regional accents onto national media. It's about the fact that she is wrong. You do not pronounce the English language ending in a G without the G. And I don't want her as a role model, and she is one and a good one. I don't want her to, to go make sure that she's influencing, especially women, but certainly all young people, to think that it's very fashionable to go around dropping your Gs. And by the way, I also put, so I'm not getting at her specifically any more than Beth Rigby or indeed Preeti Patel. It, and it, it, it's, it, it is just wrong. And I... Watched all week. I watched her highlight show with uh, Claire Balding on the Olympics, and I'd had enough. And I and I thought I'm going to actually share my my had enough with with everybody else. And by the way, I've had an enormous reaction, as you said. And yeah. I would say I'd say it's about fifty fifty. I've had fifty percent support, and I've had fifty percent criticism. I do wish people, by the way, could criticise in a free democracy and understand that I have a point of view. That doesn't mean I should be cancelled. It doesn't mean that people have to be incredibly rude. And, and, and I object to that strongly. And the quicker that social media platforms made to be publishers with all that goes with it, the better. But nevertheless, it's not, I have spoken on behalf of an awful lot of people in this country. It just so happens that I'm the one. I'm over 21. I'll take it. When you, I just thought, when you, had by the way, yep. by the way I, I switched it off. I actually had enough of it. OK, so you had a legitimate point of view. You, you, were, you were prepared to share it. Did you know that it would cause this sort of a storm? Never in my wildest dreams, Andrew. That's, fact, quite, that's quite naive, isn't it? Well, yeah, probably. I, I, and, and Pat and I were only saying this morning, God, I don't regret it in, for one second, but because I, I have a point, And by the way, I think I'm right. But I didn't for a minute think that it would cause this sort of storm. I really didn't. And I do object, by the way, when someone like Gary Lineker goes on and calls me a snob. He has no... And I'm my, I am paying a licence fee to the BBC and paying that man over a million quid a year to be gratuitously offensive to someone he's never met. Yeah. The, I, the, I the, the, the trouble is your background these days, perhaps your, your colour, your age, your sex, your gender, whatever. You know, unfortunately, if you step into that sort of environment, you know, like Twitter... Into into and make an observation like this. I mean, there is there is no win, is there? No, probably not. And and I thought Twitter, which which I don't use extensively, I I thought Twitter was something where this was a market square where everybody could share anything. And 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 that is what I've done. And I'm I, there will be loads of people in this country who will have thought, well done, Diggs. At last, someone saying this because it infuriates a lot of people. By the way, I'm sure an awful lot of people think I'm completely wrong. They obviously do. But isn't that what free m f freedom is all about? And, I, and, and, and was it naive of me? Well, only if I didn't, if I object to the response I got, which I don't object to. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't object. I object, I object strongly to the offensive na nature of the replies, but I don't object to people disagreeing with me. And one thing, Andrew, I don't understand. Yeah. Is if we were now having this conversation in Germany or France or Spain, they would be proud of their language. They'd be proud of defending their language. Anybody gets up and says this, what's played? Immediately the class card. Well, I came from very modest beginnings in Birmingham. My parents could never have afforded to send me to the school I went to. I got a scholarship. And, and I, I became a minister in a Gordon Brown's government. And that's why I went into the house. So it offends you. I am not someone who was born with a silver spoon in my mouth and is standing here as no. a snob. 